Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today I'm doing another EDC update. It is now September 2017. It's been a while since I did one of these videos. Someone had asked for one. So I said, yeah, sure. I'll do another EDC update. Um, everything on the table here is stuff I've been carrying recently, not literally at the same time. I have three different folders here, two different firearms, and three different neck knives. Uh, at any given time, I will definitely have a neck knife on me. I will definitely have a firearm, sometimes both, and uh, at least one to two folders. Okay, so it's just kind of showing the more recent options here. But uh, yeah, so where do we start? Let's start with the guns. Uh, of course, Keltec P3AT. Go to option for summertime because it's uh, hot out. However, lately hot is not the, the word to describe the weather. It's been quite chilly. The mornings are like 38 to 41, which is cold to me. I know depending on where you're watching from, wherever you happen to live, that may not be cold to you, but it's cold to me. Um, so I have been wearing uh, pants lately and um, you know kind of a sweater or you know hoodie, stuff like that. So I've been carrying my uh, Glock 19 as well. This is in, this uh, holster is actually going to sell. I put it uh, up for sale on Instagram. I'm selling a lot of stuff on Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's Cutlery Lover Jeff. Um, anyone who has been following me has seen I put a lot of stuff up for sale. So if you're looking for things to buy, different types of gear, more particularly knives, um, I have been posting it there. I'm not doing it on YouTube just because it becomes extremely difficult. You know, it's, it's hard to keep up with messages. The message system, system here is just so messed up. I, I just can't do it. So it's all on Instagram. If you're looking to buy something, check me out over there. But uh, I had a lot of uh, some random gun stuff together and no one's interested. So I started using it again. And I'll probably do giveaways with some of the other things. But uh, yeah, just simple inside the waistband, very minimal uh, Kydex holster. But uh, don't have to talk about the Glock. Everyone knows the deal with that. Um, as far as the knives, uh, let's talk neck knives, all right? Everyone knows the cold steel spike, because I've talked about it before in previous videos and been showing this a lot. This is probably the biggest, it has to be the biggest neck knife option I've ever carried. Not only in blade size, but just overall size. It's huge, okay? Extremely noticeable. Definitely looks like a knife. <laughs> Not that that matters to me. Sometimes when I carry neck knife, people have no idea what I'm doing. But uh, this one clearly is a, a giant knife on my neck. And I do get, you know, extra looks uh, on top of the normal looks I get from a neck knife. But I like it. It's extremely purposeful. It's an amazing knife. I will do a review on that eventually. Um, another knife, which I'm definitely going to do a review on, which I've been carrying but stopped. And I'll have to talk about that in a video. But this is the, uh, the Mora Eldris. All right, threw a little lanyard on there, a little lanyard bead, but uh, interesting knife for sure. Definitely we will do a review on that. People were asking me about it, but I did stop carrying it because there's something I don't like about it. Uh, as much as I wanted to love that knife, I do have an issue and it's big enough for me to stop carrying it. So stay tuned for that review. But also, just as a, a random <laughs> factoid, I have been carrying this uh, CRKT Civet. And uh, on and off, don't know if I'll do a review on this, maybe eventually, but uh, a viewer had sent this to me, so I wanted to start using it. And that's what I did, carried it, used it. Cool little option as well. Um, as far as uh, the folding knives here, three different knives. The most recent one is this, which I got a trade from someone on Instagram. And this is the um, Spyderco Delica, of course, Wave Delica, but this has the Civet uh, Karambit ring on it, which replaces the backspacer. I will definitely do a video on this because it is pretty darn cool. All right, so if you haven't seen that before, that's definitely a thing. Uh, basically turns your waved spider coes into a, a little karambit, so you can hook it with the ring, all right? Catch your pocket, obviously, with the wave feature, and as you pull out, it'll wave open, and you have a karambit-style knife. But, uh, yeah, I'll talk about that in the future as well. Um, then I have a, another knife here, <laughs> how do you pronounce that? Rake, that's right, Rake, you guys corrected me a couple times. Uh, I actually contacted the company to make sure, and it is 100% pronounced Rake. Like Drake, like Make, uh, Take, Cake, Rake. Not Ruik, not Ruik, Ruik, whatever, it's Rake, I don't know why. But that's just what it is and it has been confirmed so that's what i'm gonna say from now on rake <laughs> so this one is the rake p138 all right very interesting we'll do a review on that i also have two other folding models from a rake which we'll maybe talk about in the future as well um but i like them across the board i like the knife company 
pretty much every knife is, is good. Obviously, I have little little uh, things I, I don't like about certain models. There's one particular model, which I, I love the design. The look of it is amazing, but it's a little bit uncomfortable. We'll talk about that maybe in the future. All right, took a little intermission. I got us drinking his water for five minutes. You know, flip, 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 flip. A little distracting, to say the least. But I love him, so I let him uh, enjoy his water there, and we're back. So uh, I think I left off talking about this uh, Benchmade. This is the, uh, the proxy. Um, very interesting. I only have uh, some limited experience on this steel. This is a CPM 20 CV, so I will use this a lot more before I do a review on it and talk about it, mainly focusing on the steel, because I don't think I touched upon uh, 20 CV on this uh, channel yet. Uh, I know I've talked about it on the forums in the past. I don't think I ever did a video on it, but more specifically on this particular knife. But yeah, I mean, just really, really beautiful piece of cutlery. Not cheap, but uh, definitely worth checking out if you have you know, the availability. Um, so, as far as the uh, the watch, still rocking the uh, Maritech Pilots watch. This is the automatic one. I love not having to worry about winding it. Um, beautiful watches. I don't know if I'll do a review on it or not, but pretty straightforward. If you're into watches, you probably know about them anyway. If you've, you're really into watches and you've never heard of them, definitely go check them out. Um, again, it's Maritech Brands. It's the Pilot Watch, is the, the model. There's a couple of variations on it and it came from uh, countycom.com so uh, for all the watch buffs out there uh, but I did talk about those you know in the past not really much to say with this particular version just happens to be the full size but it's automatic so there you go uh, as far as the flashlights the streamlights uh, Protac 1L 1AA and uh, more specifically very cool because my battery died that's right battery died yesterday and took it out, and guess what? This is my last CR-123. I do have rechargeables, but none of them are charged right now. So um, I had to pop in a, uh, a AA, which is, again, why this light has so much wear on it, because I love it so much, for this reason specifically. I needed that battery, didn't have it, guess what? It has another source of fuel, which I have plenty of, regular AA batteries. All right, so still one of my, uh, I have to say, recent favorite flashlights. Been carrying this a lot. As again, you can see from all the wear on there. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the flashlights. Wallet, same. Subtle back, leather. Still love it. Still looking the same. It's uh, pretty much broken in at this point. Um, as far as the multi-tool, I gravitated back towards the Leatherman Micro. Man, I did a video on this a long time ago. What an awesome little multi-tool. Main uh, tool here is the scissors as opposed to the pliers. The pliers get a lot of use. But uh, I actually do use scissors a little bit more than I do use pliers. Uh, I do like this particular model because it has the tweezers in here, a couple of little gadgets and gadgets. You know, you can use the uh, flathead screwdriver for a little pry bar and so forth. But because it is small, I wanted to put a lantern on it. And I was kind of struggling with what I wanted to do. Eventually found some bank line here or tether cord, which is much smaller than the, uh, the paracord. If you can see the difference here. Well, you don't see a you know, single strand, but it is much smaller. So I did a uh, little braid on here, and I found a use for that huge bead. This is the, uh, the bead off of the Ruger uh, CRKT knife I talked about, the revolver cylinder. I thought it worked very nicely on this. So it's just uh, easy to find in the pocket, <laughs> easy to grab, and I have a nice little laner on there. So uh, yeah, that's been my small multi-tool option. And uh, lastly, the uh, Plasmatic VO. Literally just did a video on this, so I'm not gonna talk much about it. But uh, if you haven't seen these before, basically uses a little plasma beam, or, or two of them in this case, uh, instead of fire. So it's a flameless lighter. Uh, fully electric, fully rechargeable. And just to touch upon my zapping myself, because if you did not see that video, I zap myself. And a lot of people had commented on it. In the video, when I was talking about it, I didn't see the footage yet, so I assumed that I hit this button, but I didn't. I was plugging in the charger, the cap was off. <laughs> Very hesitant to even do this. Okay, all right. <laughs> so I was holding it and uh, I was plugging in the charger and when I pushed the charger in, it, it zapped me, it turned on for like a split second. I don't know why. Um, I thought I hit the button, but clearly you can see I did not hit the button. So what I'm thinking is that when putting the charger in, I was putting pressure down on here. I don't even want to do it now because well, let's say for, for safety, for all the name of science, right? All right, pushing on this does not do anything. Mm, mm, mm. And clearly, there's still juice in there. Okay, so pushing down does nothing. So there's no, you know, no worry about accidentally, uh, you know, zapping yourself. 
Um, but I think it was just a combination of plugging that in and pushing down. I don't really know. I tried to replicate it on wood, like if I, well, I, I can't do it now in front of you because I don't have the cord, but after the video, after I saw what happened, I put the cord back in and pushed it down on the wood table and nothing. So I don't know if it's because of my skin and I don't know what happened. It was a freak accident, uh, but I can't replicate it without trying to put it back on my skin. I certainly am not going to try to do that. So uh, yeah, but as I, I said in the comments, keeping the cap on is a good idea when you're not using it. But uh, yeah. That pretty much covers it. That's been my uh, EDC stuff as of late. Uh, we'll have reviews on some of the stuff and some of the stuff I probably won't have reviews on. Uh, I, ha I have a bad habit of showing something and saying I'm going to do a review on it and then I just forget. Either the knife gets traded off or, you know, I just move on to new projects. There's such a constant flow of different gear and stuff that, you know, I do uh, tend to forget. So this isn't always the case, but sometimes I say I'm going to do a review on a knife or something but I just don't use it enough to actually feel comfortable doing a review. I'll get something new, I'll say, oh, this is cool, I like it, I'll do a review on it, and then like I trade it, you know, maybe two or three weeks later, but I really didn't use it that much. And if I don't use something, you know, enough, I can't do a review on it. It's just an assumption, that's all it is. And if you wanna see assumption videos, or like I, I said before, first impression videos, that's cool too, it's a different type of entertainment. Um, but you know, I like the educational part of things. I like when I do a knife review, I, I try to tell you stuff you, you can't find out, you know, from looking at pictures on a website, you know, everyone knows how big knives are. You can look those specs up, but you, you don't know if, oh, you know, it's uncomfortable in the hand because of this, or, Hey, you know, it doesn't lock up all that great, or, you know, it's a little slippery or whatever. These little things you can only find out from actually using the gear. So if you do see a, an item and I say I'm going to do a review on it and you never see the review, either I forgot or I just didn't use it enough and I no longer have it. So really all it comes down to. But like I said, hey, you know, you can remind me as much as you want. All it's gonna do is help. And if you say, hey, you know, don't forget to do a review on that, I can respond. Oh, I don't have that anymore. Or hey, thanks for reminding me. I'll go ahead and do that. But anyway, that is my, uh, my EDC update for September 2017. Lots more stuff that's not on the table. So I do have some uh, nice surprise knife reviews. Old knives that I've showed before and plenty that I've never showed before. But uh, yeah, it's a constant, constant rotation. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Any suggestions on uh, cool gear to try out? Let me know in the comments. And as always, I'd love to hear new stuff you got. You know, post in the comments some new knife you got and what you think of it or a new gun or, or whatever. Always uh, interested in your guys' opinions on stuff. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Take care, guys.